fair, that's, that's kind of where Waidu tends to lean because they're a lab monster. Yeah. So we get to, we'll get to see how it goes. Now we're going to be seeing when with the Steve, of course. Uh, Steve, as you were saying, he can, can become a really combo heavy uh, character if you go with a Yanni route or uh, what have you. But And just like you were seeing, we were seeing 3% off right off the bat. Like, what? Boom. <laughs> Boom. I hit you Easy. with a neutral air out of shield, and you took 63. Smile. <laughs> smile. I smile. Uwu asterisk. <laughs> And it's we're going to do once more, just coming in really easy. And also these block placements, knowing that, you know, the middle block isn't really that important if you really think about it. Um, down tilting the first block really just lets you go through the entire three stack anyway. So right. having a, uh, a blockage from, like, any jump in attacks and also not letting them, like, run in easily to get damage on you, super smart of, um, of Waidu. Yeah, I like the stage pick as well. Small battlefield. Mm -hmm. Generally, uh, it's a very strong stage for a lot of characters, but Steve gets to uh, gets to collect a ton of variety resources, which lets you use blocks more. Uh, anvil doing anvil things. Absolutely, uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I gasped. <laughs> it's okay, Dill taking it right back to even anyway, uh, and just like that. But like you were saying, on small battlefield, Steve does have a really good variety of uh, of materials that he's able to kind of you know craft and not craft, but you know mine. Um, not like Kalos, where you get more chance of iron, or like Town, where you get more chance of wood. It's right. very nice, even uh, distribution yeah. on small battlefield. That means you're going to be able to place blocks a lot more. And I, yep. if there's anything that we've been watching with Why Do Steve a little bit earlier, it's the fact that they they have a tendency just to try and place blocks in unique ways. They still haven't done a three stack yet, which I find uh, hysterical because that's like <laughs> the thing that Steve's do frequently. Yeah, But absolutely. they've been using blocks in different ways. When they haven't had hands on gyro, they tried to do gyro down toss out of footstool. Hello? Oh, so you're gone? No, nah, no. Nah, respect, respecting you know. Rob's, uh, Rob's jet, so not going down for the forward mm -hmm. air there. You know, Rob, and also Rob can turn on, turn on you so quick, especially Dill's Rob. She can definitely just go in with a side B or out the stage, and you are dead for that. Just like how you're dead off the up smash with the magma block. And why do only chilling with 63% of their name? But now, what I really want to see from them is, of course, we're going to be mining for, um, for more materials, getting our diamond tools as well for that extra damage. Uh -oh. As you can see, 69% right off the bat, and we're taking the... We're gonna draw an L right on the stage and keep Dill where uh, Waidu want her. Look, that was triple nil in order to get up there into the into the anvil. Like Jesus, Waidu just throwing out so much of this uh, of this flexibility that comes with blocks in order to make sure that Dill is always on the back foot, even when going up in the air like that. Another two block stack. Uh, just kind of an acknowledging that, hey, Rob Neutral destroys blocks, so why am I putting so much investment into it in walls when I can just keep those blocks ready and waiting? Going TNT down smash, double down smash, mm -hmm. trying to get the trap going for Waidu, but Dill still surviving nice. and able to get the edge guard. Really smart, Dill, knowing that uh, Elytra unfortunately is a very, um, or mostly horizontal, uh, uh, not attack, but you know, recovery option for Steve and Dill with the uh, 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 arm rotor. Definitely gonna take taking Waidu off for that stock, but so is simply. <sighs> I hate Steve. Sometimes I hate Steve. <laughs> I, I, I'm just like, all right. No, I, I think I, th I don't even think it was diamond. I think that was literally just stone. Yes, it was. <laughs> like, that was. I was gonna bring it up. It's like the biggest fault in that stock two game plan was uh, Waidu burned a ton of resources trying mm -hmm. to snowball, and they right here, right? They don't have any diamonds. They don't have any gold. They have just the default iron, yep. the three that you get from spawn. So this is actually a really big comeback position. You don't have to worry about too much aside from exactly forward smash and anvil. And, you know, forward smash. Boom. For <laughs> because why not? That's uh, that's the, the classic Jake smash where uh, you do forward smash. And you, and you win. And it, it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's just good. Even if it's just little stone tools you get on like the first day of actually playing Minecraft, like it's just, it's just good, you know. Good. But anyway, we're, going, we're oh. taking right oh, to no. small battlefield. Good choice uh, for Dill, just because you don't want to take uh, Steve to any stage that really benefits him, such as Kalos or um, or Hollow Bastion. There's lots of iron tools on those stages anyway. So now, why dude once again showing that they are very proficient using the materials on this stage anyway, 101% on Dill's name. As we speak, and why do make an optical course right now? Yeah, just like one, two, one, two, we're going back and forth. A lot more focus on the nil landings. Nice. But gets the up smash out of shield on that whiffed dash attack as there's the first diamond of the stock. And plenty of time to mine here, just setting up the wall after wall and then going right over the top. 
Yeah, and Dill continuously just using uh, using Rob's Nair. Wow, using Rob's Nair to constantly build, uh, take on these rolls. And unfortunately, Waidu can just simply wait and make more uh, more blocks as Dill is trying to get rid of them. And for, uh, Forder still not taking it quite yet for uh, for Dill. She's t still taking it alive. Has a lot of rage on deck as well. Didn't get the oh. forward air out of that instead of sitting at 163, looking at around a uh, kill percent from up throw here, which mm -hmm. is extremely deadly in its own right. But Dill doing a really solid job of just evading so many of these minecart traps and, and getting as much chill damage as chip damage as you can, but finds the one and unable to break through with that Rob forward air out of disadvantage. Oh, hello, okay. So Gyro beats minecart. <laughs> I was. Ah. So many blocks are this absurd. Is... Blocks are absurd, and I am so tired of thinking that they are not one of, if not the best moves in the game because of their flexibility. They're low key. They're, they are one of the best options for a Steve. Steve can never go to a true FD stage. No, he can just make it into whatever he wants. It's an advantage that Steve have o has over a lot of the cats. He can just makes he makes platforms. He makes ledges. He. He avoid, he uh, takes away legends from you, you know? Well, boy howdy, you're telling me that uh, the ability to create platforms in a platform fighter is good? That's what I'm saying! <laughs> <laughs> but only one character can do it! Yeah, he's, he's pretty special like that, though. Still far from like, completely out of it at this point. Just needs to find a way to, to close out the stock, but all of these trades are just never in their favor. Finally, <sighs> oh. that's a huge punish off of the miss a side B. Unfortunately, thankfully, Dill not taking, uh, not letting herself get the stock taken from her. However, why do that? That's something that you just didn't need in that moment. You know, finally getting with the up to up uh, the up air anyway. Yes. Oh. Go for the up smash yeah. there. It's totally riskless when you're given the given the extent that you can press her with this advantage. 23 into the stone blocks of this, which is you know, generally pretty good, but oh, the minecart doesn't close out the stock. Not enough rage, and but, uh, Maidu has to try and, for has to forfeit this advantage in order to mine a few more materials. Just trying to keep Dill in the corner with these back airs. You know, absolutely, and what I was gonna say earlier was that Maidu had a ve was very low on resources, and um, I'm kind of glad they opted just to just to mine just a little bit because one they were in a pretty good advantage state a little little bit percentage uh, you know in comparison to Dill's like bleeding red percentage right there and now we have a, a good stack of iron we have a reinforced minecart at our disposal we have diamond tools we have up um, up throw taking it uh, finally like you were saying earlier the co percentage for up throw being around 150 and up yes. and now we're just getting all this percentage off of these minecart. Um, Oh, if, that final, if that final hit of down tilt hit, that I was a cried. true combo into powered minecart, which I won't say it killed, but it definitely would have been in a ridiculous spot, <laughs> especially given how flexible Steve can be at a minecart with all of these forward airs coming down from Waidu. Finally a grab, though, and reading the spot dodge still, trying to get some momentum on her side, but just the ability to go high and get back to center so quickly. Why do taking so much advantage of the fact that Steve can almost at will take stage control sometimes, especially with that mine cart, with the powered minecart on deck. I mean, at will, Steve can just make the stage however he sees fit. Also that. You know? <laughs> also. And, it, it, <laughs> and it literally can never go understated. Like, just how good something like that is, but also just how good di uh, oh, no. diamond pickaxes, diamond a setup. Yep. back air, diamond forward air, diamond back air to cover space, Throw out the minecart. That command grab confirms into the spiking hit of forward air if you don't mash quick enough. Mm -hmm. And at 98, that's, that's, that's going to be hard. Even as Rob, even with your great recovery option, it's, you are down. That down low, you're gone. Yeah, Why yeah. is that spike? Why is that spike? It's, it's good. It's big. <laughs> it's so big. It's, and also, it was just diamond pickaxe. A, lo a lot of things about Steve that just... They're so evil. And actually, had Dill, um, had that micro actually done the, like, what why do wanted to do, they were ready for that down air with the, with the anvil as well. It's just a lot of setups that Steve has that are just so tricky to maneuver around, especially if you're someone as big, I know, I know meme, haha, Rob Humongous. But Rob is just sometimes a little bit too big to deal with this kind of stuff. You are constantly being comboed into with a uh, constant um, jab, 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 and then. Mike, it's just a lot of stuff. It's oh my lot. god. I get stressed it's, out looking at this. Ooh. I get stressed out. Steve is just one of the characters. I mean, the meme on Twitter is that he gets buffed every 48 yeah. hours, which is partially true. But the 
the frustrating part about Steve is that, as I was going on to early in, right before the set began, is that you can quite literally take Steve in two, like if you want to really narrow it down, like two routes, but you yeah. actually have like three or four that you can completely change directions in at the drop of a hat and tr decide to focus on a block-based Steve or a minecart-based Steve or a mining-based Steve or a combo-based Steve. And just, like, what are you looking and for? And you can also just moment? mix and match them. That's the thing. He's just true, too right? versatile. Not too versatile. It's not a bad thing, really. But he's very versatile he's as very a character. Versatile. And like, what, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, it's different you for a character. Steve. It's he's different got... for a matchup. Or you play the character yourself. That's yeah.